In this video, I want to show how we can change the green values with the blue values, like swap those two values. So if we look at the NumPy array, for example, this is the green value, this is the blue value, and we want to swap those. So this already takes some thought, even if you're just doing it with a uh, list, like, for example, let's call my list equals this. And so if you try to swap this thing in position one with this thing in position two, when you're first learning programming, it's very easy to make a mistake. It's very easy to try something like set, take my list bracket two and put that value into my list bracket one and then do the opposite. My list bracket two equals my list bracket one. And so why doesn't this work? Well, the problem is that as soon as I take this number 206 and put it into my list bracket one, then this number 190 has disappeared from the picture, and there's no way we can get it back from the way we've tried to write it here. So we actually have 178, 206, 206 in this case, which is not what we wanted. We wanted 178, 206, then 190. So the usual way in my mind to fix this is to save that 190 value in some temporary variable. So I can say, let's save this 190 with the name temp. And then at the end, we'll assign my list bracket two to have this value from temp. And then if I check my list, here's what I wanted. 178, 206, 190. So even if you knew like instantly the right way to do this, still might surprise you how it works when we try to actually make the change to this, uh, to these NumPy arrays. So uh, let me show you what I mean by that. So this was ARR, and let me get B as a copy of ARR. And so if I try to just emulate what's written here, I'd say, let's save the green channel. So ARR, this is like saying every row every column give me the green channel okay so that would be like giving me this number 190 this number 190 this number 137 and so on so say we've saved that as temp now we can safely overwrite this since we've saved it and we'll overwrite it with what was in the blue channel rgb okay, and then we just want to do with well, I guess not quite the reverse of this. We want to fill in ARR colon colon two, the blue channel. We want to fill that in with this temporary value, temp. And so what went wrong? Oh, I was, maybe I'll leave that error there, but this wasn't, this wasn't the mistake I was intending to make. I was using ARR. So this part worked fine, but this line gave me an error because ARR is read only. That was the whole point of doing this copy. Okay, so let's fix that. And so I just want to use B everywhere I was using ARR. Okay, so that worked without giving me an error, but let's actually look at what's in the upper leftmost pixel of B. So it's like the exact same issue that we came up with before, even though it seems like I already used the fix from before. And so what went wrong? Well, let, let me show you a hint of what went wrong. Let me say from this sys standard library, import get size of, and then let me get size of temp. So it says temp is only 128 bytes, but if I, like look at temp, for example, or I check what's the shape of temp. So do you really think some 225 by 399 NumPy array of integers can really be stored in just 128 bytes? And so the problem that's going on is that this temp, all it is doing is it's saying temp should hold whatever is in B. And if we change what's, whatever we're, is in this portion of B, and if we change that portion of B, temp is going to change along with it. So those 190s, for example, became 206s in B colon colon 1, and they also became 206s at the same time in temp. So how can we fix this? Well, 
one way to fix it is I can just put another dot copy here, and that's saying, don't remember where these numbers are coming from. Actually, like, save all of those numbers and put them in their own new NumPy array. Okay, and now if we check what's in the upper left corner, then it's this pixel we wanted, 178, 206, 190. In this very particular case, there is probably an easier solution, and it's kind of related to my error from before. I can actually get rid of this temporary value. And the idea is that we actually already have the value saved in ARR. Okay, so I can just say the uh, green channel in B, that should be the blue channel in ARR. And the blue channel in B, that should be the green channel in ARR. And uh, this should be the same. Yep, 178, 206, 190. So I'm glad that these numbers are different. And so I just finished recording this video a minute ago, and I realized I totally forgot to show like, what the result looks like. So um, let me show you the result. Here's the original image, okay, this normal looking penguin's image. And here is the resulting image, image.fromarray B. And so this is what you get if you switch the blue channel with the green channel. Okay. And that is all I wanted to show in this video. Thank you for watching.